Hey guys, welcome to Football Manager 2022 mobile video. This is the first video I've done on this game that isn't uh, Wonder Kid or the release related. In this video, I'll be showing you a great attacking tactic that I found. It's no, by no means the greatest, but it's worked very well at the top levels of the game where you can score lots and do very well. So I'm not going to clickbait saying it's the best tactic or anything like that. But it's a very good tactic that has worked for me in both uh, Sevilla in Spain and Atalanta in Italy. So to get into it, here's the tactic. I'm not using it, this tactic currently with this team, but here it is. It's a 4-2-4. Um... Normal fullbacks, normal goalkeeper, no nonsense center back, a ball playing defender, and then you have a central mid, and you have a roaming playmaker who can spearhead your team forward, two inside forwards to overload the box, and also a pressing forward and a poacher. So here's the tactical shape it's attacking, it's fast tempo, it's expressive. Balanced whip, balanced defending. I've found that it's worked fine with defending where you don't concede lots. Uh, with attacking instructions, look for overlap so those fullbacks can overlap. Shoot on sight, finally, through balls. Mixed passing, mixed passing focused, and short goalkeeping distribution to keep the ball. So here's the set pieces. Usually I play it short because you rack up a lot of corners. So you want to... I found that other corners haven't worked as well. You can use the corner tactics I used in a previous video. If you go to my videos and go back a few. So short is the way I've been going. And just keeping at the standard. So that's the tactic. Now I'll show you history before this team uh with atalanta made the semi-final 85 points 25 conceded 68 goals so not bad won the italian cup and super cup season prior 93 points 34 conceded 90 goals runner up of super cup won first knockout round of champions league but won the italian cup and before that came second, winning the Europa League. Um, with Sevilla, came first in La Liga. 90 points, 73 scores, 30 conceded. In the season prior, 87. Once again, pretty well. Semi-finals in Champions League. So it's going well. This save, it takes a bit, but the tactic works. Definitely. So let me show you gameplay of it. So here we go into a match. I'm doing a different save for this because my other save with Beirut in Germany, I don't even have enough wingers for it to work. Like players who can't play as wingers. And this save I've been using the same tactic where it's been working fine. So here we go. So loading into the game. Second in the league right now. And I'll show you, case you, how it works. So, so far, they're dominating, but there we go. Five minutes in, and we take the lead. Pretty simple. Another chance, 2 now, And surprisingly, it's a good start. Goes to show how well this tactic's been working for me. Lots of shots going on net, which is needed. And it's surprising how well this match has gone 4-0 up within moments. 5-0. And this is crazy. They're scoring on every highlight. The keeper the keeper's rating will not be great. Right now the keeper's rating's out of 5. Well, it's gone up for some reason. Because it's hit half time, but we're doing well. Chance for a goal back, but it's wide. Sees a short 
passing gives you the ball immediately. And then you can long ball or so on. It's been domination throughout this game. We don't need to dominate possession, but the shots have been working with shoot on sight. Lots of attacking options. And a foul, but that will be full time. 5-0 up. A 5-0 win. All five goals coming in first half and showing how the tactic works. Anything notable with stats? It's, it was pretty even statistically, but you saw the defense work. Lots of crossing that worked. And just attacking the better team. So on to the next match to show you. Here we go. Second and fall match. And we'll see how it goes here against Calvary FC and the Derby between it. Edmonton and Calgary in this. Plata saved. And already off the box. And dominating. And should have been 1 0 there. Four shots. And that's an injury, so we'll have to swap that out. 27th minute. And chance blown a wide. Probably a clear cut chance there. And that passing sequence is blown. Another great chance. And it's nil nil at half. Short corner will be taken. And if we can get past that last man defending the corner, it'll look good. And 1-0 down. Keeper comes out. And against the run of play, we're down. Here we go. And 1-1 immediately. Equalizer. Chance and 2 1. A cross that goes in and flips the game. Throw in and they've equalized. Eighty third minute. And that was a chance. All it'll take is one more chance. And there it is. 3-2. And what a match it's been. And chance to win it. That's got to be a red. No red. Must be not. And 4-2. And that's more reflective of the match. 4-2 win. So a great result at the end. And I'll just show you the tactic one more time. It's a 4-4-2 four, four, or a 4-2-4. Four, four. It's more attacking. Here's the attacking instructions. Here's defensive instructions. And here's the just attacking. Um, and for set pieces, if you want, do just short corners with the default instructions. So thanks for watching the video, guys. And please comment below how the tactic worked for you. And I'll hope to post more videos on Football Manager Mobile regarding tactics and other stuff. So please hang with me, and I'll post more. Have a great day, everyone.